I were to describe Don't Look Up in a nutshell, it would be an analogy of modern day culture and our inability to hear and listen to uh, scientific truth. I often in my career looked for a film that had an environmental undertone to it, but much like the inundation of news on climate change, a lot of people don't want to hear it, and making a film about it is an even more difficult task to take on. And Adam, who's an incredibly outspoken individual on the climate crisis, really wanted to do a film that brought, you know, an element of dark comedy to what seems to be a daunting issue. Your breathing is stressing me out. This will affect the entire planet. I know, but it's like so stressful. What Adam did that was so brilliant here was use the analogy of a, a, a giant comet heading towards Earth and how the human race would react to it from a political level, from a scientific level, and what we would do about it. It really reminded me of what it's like for climate scientists, scientists like you know Michael Mann, for example, when they're put in the mainstream news circuit and told to talk about the catastrophic events of the climate crisis. Here they are trying to be media savvy and not politicize the issue, but just try to articulate the facts the best they can. There are some hard truths that these characters need to face, much like we do as a, as a species on Earth. We try to tell you this whole time, it's right there. It's I just love the way that he ended this film because it makes us take a hard look at where we're ultimately going and the fact that a lot of this stuff is slowly becoming irreversible and that we have this very finite window of, of 10 years to make this transition. If we're not voting for leaders or supporting everything that has to do with climate mitigation, we're going to have a, you know, a fate very similar to these characters. Everything is fine. We're already feeling the ramifications of the, of the climate crisis and the world is going to be a different place years to come. When COVID hit, it became all the more resonant that there's a tremendous amount of doubt in, in modern day science. And having been speaking about and listening to incredibly intelligent people talk about this issue for the past 20 years, the fact that our missions are still going up worldwide and we're not making the changes necessary. We're seeing the ramifications of, of what scientists have been telling us for the last few decades and it's almost happening to the exact year and date. I remember talking to uh, climate scientists who started talking about the spread of wildfires around the world and that it would be happening around this time and here we are looking at the state of the world that we're in and it's not that we're not listening, we're just not taking th the necessary action. Are we not being clear? We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. It's a very daring film to make. It's in a lot of ways brings a mirror to our entire culture and how we deal with bad news and whether us as a species can evolve to truly focus on what is ultimately the most important issue that's ever faced humanity in the history of civilization.